Today, I was supposed to deliver General Hangman's plans for the war. But then I realized something. I am not a pawn in some competition between Hangman and Schmidt. Then what do you plan to say, Strasbourg, if not what you originally planned to say? Instead, I support a third option, a ceasefire. How many lives must be shed for goals that only seem to be imperial expansion? This is not our way. A ceasefire? That is ridiculous. Do you even know your enemies? We must continue the progress that we have made in the way that we have made that progress. That is exactly what we are doing. The old formula for war must be revamped. We are no longer the sole superpower in the galaxy. Several posts to dethrone us of that. You blame us for having supposed imperial tendencies, but do you hear yourself, playing man? What throne do we have for them to take? Tazdis Ilok, you fought in several border wars with the Lactate Empire. You should know firsthand what throne we have to lose. If the Lactate or anybody else wins this war, they will not only gain land and resources, but confidence. Are you saying that the increased confidence of other states will be the downfall of the CPAS? Now, please excuse us, but that's quite ridiculous, Hangman. Like land, galactic confidence is a finite resource. In order for someone to get more, they must take it from someone else. That's someone else being the CPAS. Look upon your new head of generals, my friends. He talks like his patriotism is the key to winning this war. Is that the nonsense they teach these days in the academy, hangman? Lie down, Yoberon. He has a point. Our country grows more and more disconnected, split between two sides, while others only grow from their unity. The CPAS is evidently lacking. Am I hearing this right? The ancient O.R. Kraken thinks that the maniacally oppressive regimes of the galaxy have more unity than us, the CPAS, the greatest democracy the world and galaxies will ever see? Easy, they don't spend time arguing back and forth in a crumbling building. They have decisive, strong, and swift governments that can make decisions without any consultation. Maybe we should emulate that. General Kraken, you can't possibly be embracing the ideologies of someone half your age. I am, Ilok. When the Lactate Empire decided to consolidate the other Darion clans, they unanimously agreed. When Tepe decided to massacre a whole planet to destroy a bowl factory, they found no counter-argument. But what are we at? Arguing so much that we can't even agree on the color of a wall. Good news from the front, sir. Trachea, Stanistan, and Epsilon Fiber have sided with us in the war. They have agreed to support us with resources, soldiers, and ships. Effective immediately. This is splendid news. May that evil coalition tremble in their boots before the side of our allies. I celebrate this news. However, I suggest that we should move to ally with the independent planet zone. They are resource rich and have a vast amount of territory for us to deploy our ships from. This would be a great tactical advantage. I hate to say this, but that's not a bad idea. Planet Minga is often listed as the primary representative of the IPZ. I support going there. Q5J4. Isn't this ship nice? I've never been in an Enforcer class ship before. Usually they're reserved only for Quadrant 4 attacks on the Froobs. The Enforcer is one of the most armored ships of the Republic of Tepe. Some sources say it may be the apex of Tepe designing. I am surprised we allied with the Lactate Empire. We always have such a tense relationship with them. But King Bachingo is always ready to buddy up with them when he can gain something from it. 
approve. We are approaching the meeting spot with Rear Admiral Lima. Good. Continue at maximum speed and ensure our fellow colonels know that this is not a hostile attack. We do not want to mess with the Lactate Empire. Working. We are receiving a message from Professor Proboscis on screen now. Major General Marcus Trotson. I have been informed by General Voss that you have been sent to meet with Rear Admiral Leba, the Lactate Empire. Are you ready for your mission? I am assuming I'll inform Rear Admiral Leba of our mission as well, correct? Correct. You are to go to Planet Minga, the independent planet zone. However, intelligence reports suggest that a CPAS envoy may be on its way. Is the envoy a standard CPAS attack dispatch? I'm sorry, but my colonels are not as experienced when it comes to enemies as advanced as the CPAS. No, it is four Dove class ships. However, with the help of Admiral Leba, this should be no problem. But you are to avoid direct engagement. Professor Proboscis, out. Tepe Troop number 42, I want all weapons primed and ready for combat. A200, send out a communications line to Admiral Leba informing him that we have arrived and of our mission. Rear Admiral Leba is on screen now. Planet Minga is a short distance from here, don't you know? We can arrive in a few large standard units of time. My two ships will prepare for the west. Hopefully we have arrived before them. The CPAS has a way with its words. Admiral Leba, does the Lactate possibly have any files over the head of Planet Minga? I believe his name is simply Representative. He has been working with about all of the independent planet zones to create one united country. That's a CPAS attack dispatch! Shields up! I have weapons locked onto them, but I want the CPAS to know that we won't attack them unless they attack us. Trotston, in the Lactate Empire we have a saying for this. Hostility will be met with hostility. Major General, the Coalition has arrived. They say that they come in relative peace, but our scanners report that they have their weapons primed and locked on our ships. Thank you, Lucas Grego. I want our ships to mirror them. If they want to stand off, they'll get a standoff. Aye, sir. Major Sorsa is ready to beam down. He has assembled a security team in case they wish to seek Minga's help in working with the independent planets. I don't think they came here for the fun of it, Lieutenant. Now I must be going. It seems we'll be side by side with the enemy today. Hey, what do I have here? Both the CPAS and the Republic of Tepe wanted to support me? You know, the IPZ isn't easy to work with. We have our demands. I am aware the CPAS looks like a good deal on the surface, but you can't trust them. Plus, we came here in such urgency that we're before them. Not by much, Trotson. Hey, here he comes. May I introduce Major General Marcus Trotson? Wait a second. Are you two related? This should be extra fun. Marcus, what are you doing here? Serving my country, David. I assume you're here for the same reason? Rivalries are abound today. Now why should I work with any of you? The IPZ has been just fine without you guys. Either one. Representative, the CPAS is the most progressive country in the galaxy. If you side with us, we will help to provide better lives for everyone in every planet in the IBC. Hey, I've seen PSAs before, and you have yours down to the T. Not impressive. The IPZ does not want to work with the CPAS. The Coalition knows how much the IPZ values freedom. So, if you support us, we will leave you to your own paths and decide your own fate and ensure that you are not bullied. I used to live in Tepe, and I don't want anything with them ever again. Then what do you want, Representative? The IPZ has a new name, the United Independent Planets Union. 
and we don't care for any of your promises. The UIPU will fight for itself from now on. We will no longer hide behind those who promise to be working for our good when they are only working for themselves. The CPAS will work with you no matter the demands. We could use an ally like you. I don't care. We just want to watch the fireworks of your destruction. Now get out of here. And A, hey, both of you, consider the UIPU a second enemy in this war. Tepe Troop number 42, beam me up. It seems the representative did not want to negotiate with anybody today.